Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are headed out on the water. Earlier this year, we got some footage that is just out of control. And we were waiting to share it with you guys. Now that I've been down for the count for a little while, we thought this was the perfect time to share it with you. So I got out on the water with our buddy Sean. Like I said, earlier in the year, we were throwing glide baits. And man, we got into them. I broke my PB not once, but twice back to back. It was out of this world. You've got to check this out. So these fish have not seen Oh I just got freaking mauled. Big one, big one. Got him. It's a big one. Don't don't try to hold it. Heavy. Good one? Yeah, big. What do I tell you, man? I'll get out of the way in a second. You want me to. what? I'll just make a sandwich. <laughs> you tell me when you're done. Hell yeah, dude. You're pretty safe out here, too. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> you want to chase it? We're good. She's not very far away. I didn't get to see it. Leader's up. She's not far away. Get on it. Either way, it doesn't matter. We'll get there. It's a strong fish. Um, it's, yeah, turn it a little bit. Jeez. <laughs> I'm just going to put these down, man. I'm going to get a look at her. Oh, it's big, yeah. It's bigger oh, than what I've been thinking. I just saw her. She's right here. What do you think? I think she's ready. Well, I mean, what do you think, size-wise? 30? I don't know. I'm bad at that game. 30. That's going to be a PB. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. That's all of, that's all of 35. For sure, though. Give her a little... back than I meant to be, but I'll take it. You hit the cord? I think in red's good, right? Yep. Just on the drift, dude. It's screaming out of there. Right. 
So why'd you start a rigging out here? Dinks. It's fun. Just catching. Got a big, big one. Reeling dead upstream, dude. He might not be as big. He's just in really fast water. But he's not small. Oh, it's big, big. Big, big. 40s? It's on her cheek. Bye, babe. Back to the dip. Coming up. Coming. Ah, oh, nah, she ain't that big. She's big, not that big. She's 30. Oh, for sure 30, but not no 40. Yeah. The other one was longer. There we go. Nicely done. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, guys. It's like, I don't know. 8.30 in the morning, 9 o'clock. Just stuck a 31 and a half pounder in our second hole. Dropped to the third hole. We just stuck this one. We just weighed this fish. We'll get her out and take pictures in a second. 38 pounds. 31 and a half and a 38 back to back. Just insane. Having a blast throwing the big baits. What an awesome fish. That is a beautiful fish. Insane. This is the actual bait right here. This is the one that those fish were chomping. This bait, I actually wrote the weights on the belly of the bait. This bait stuck a 38, 38.0, a 31.6, a 31.5, and a 29.5, all in the same day. And it was the first day that I had ever thrown it how crazy is that that first big one you saw that was the third cast i had ever made with the bait now you guys are probably going backwards going that's right they did a review video on that bait earlier this spring well now you know i was so hyped up about it we had just gone out and just destroyed giant giant striper and then since then caught a ton of big largemouth on it but guys if you're looking for a glide that's inexpensive it's relatively inexpensive it's in that like i don't remember exactly 60 to 80 dollar price range but for giant baits that's absolutely in the budget you know giant baits can be really really expensive that one is affordable for what you get but guys this experience i had so much fun out there with sean sean caught an even bigger one that day and we have not even gotten around to showing you that one yet that one's going to come a little bit later but just an amazing time on the water, seeing these truly, truly incredible fish. I mean, it's one thing to hook into big striper. It's another thing to hook into striper that big, and then to do it in current, where they just rip and rip and rip. The mentality behind playing them is completely different. You see, we're using giant hardware, big upgraded owner 4X, going to, of course, hyperwire split rings we always do that but big ones size six and size seven hyperwire split rings but then you back the drag down so that they can rip line completely different than chasing largemouth and the reason for that is they have so much power they can turn the heat on so hard that no matter what you do 
gear is going to fail. Hooks are going to bend, split rings are going to blow, lines are going to break, rods are going to shatter. So you have to back that drag down. The key is to get a really strong hook in them and then just let them run and wear themselves out. Very, very different than fishing for large mouth or small mouth or spots with a swim bait. Same baits, same rods, same reel, but the approach is different. You play them much slower. Man, it's fun. I hope you guys, if you haven't had the opportunity to tie into one of those giants yet, if the opportunity ever arises, you need to take it. I hope you guys enjoyed checking this out. I mean, I had the time of my life out there. It's not very often that we get to break PBs anymore to get that new personal best. Do it back to back like that was, was special. Thanks guys, thanks for coming along. I appreciate you. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. We'll talk to you soon.